So here we have 510 plus 60. Now we're used to solving questions like this on a number line by counting up in tens. So because we're adding six tens, we can count 520, 530, 540, 550, 560, 570. So notice that because we're adding 60, we've added 10 six times to get our answer, 570. But we could have answered this question without using a number line. What could we have done? You might have been able to add 60 all in one go to get your answer of 570. And that's because you know that if we start with one 10 and we're adding six tens, we will need seven tens in our answer. So what is 518 plus 40? Here, again, we can add 40 all in one go to get 558 as our answer. That's because we start with one ten and we're adding four tens, so we need five tens in our answer. But now it gets more difficult. We have 384, so we have eight tens, and we're adding 50, so that's five tens. Now eight plus five is 13, but we can only have one digit in each place value column, so we can't do exactly the same thing as we did in our previous question. Instead, we can solve this by bridging our tens. So if we add 20, if we add two of our tens, we get to 404. And if we know that 38 plus two is 40, we know that 384 plus 20 is 404. So because we're adding tens, the units digit stays the same. But we've added 20 here and we want to add 50 so let's add 30 more. That takes us to 434. And so if we know that 40 plus 3 is 43, we know that 404 plus 30 is 434. So because we're adding tens, the units digit stays the same. So we have added 50 because we added 20, then added 30, and that helped us find our answer, 434. So we started with three hundreds and eight tens, which we can think of as being 38 tens. We added five tens, and then in our answer, we ended up with four hundreds and three tens, which we can think of as being 43 tens. So if you know that 38 plus 5 is 43, you know that 384 plus 50 is 434. Because we're only adding tens, the units digit stays the same. So pause the video and see if you can work out 469 plus 60. Well, if we add 40, that takes us to 509, because we know that 46 plus 4 is 50. So now we've added 40, so we need to add another 20. And that takes us to 529, because we know that 50 plus 2 is 52. So we added 40, then added 20, which means that we added 60 altogether, and that gave us our answer, 529. So we started with 406 tens, which we can think of as being 46 tens. We added six tens, and then in our answer, we got 502 tens, which we can think of as being 52 tens. So if you know that 46 plus 6 is 52, you know 
that 469 plus 60 is 529. Because we're only adding 10s, the 9 in our units stays the same. 